Well, hello there, YouTube. My name is Johnny Butters. You might not know who I am. Probably don't, but uh, I'm here to kind of solve the R5's limitations, problems when it comes to editing. Now, it shoots AK RAW, which I would recommend shooting over the internal 10-bit H.265. H.265 is a horrible codec, but the RAW files actually edit pretty good, and I'm going to tell you how to do it smoothly, including scrubbing in DaVinci Resolve, and then maybe we'll hop into Premiere. I'm pretty sure it's a very similar experience. So let's get into it. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna open up the RAW files. I'm gonna select, I've got quite a few of them, uh, from two different shooters. I'll link them below for credit. We're gonna drag these files into the timeline. And we're gonna go into Project Settings and change the resolution to AK DCI. Now, it's going to play back like crap. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to show you that right now. And it's actually going to it's going to bring up an error in a second where it's going to say your GPU memory is full. So now here's the trick. We're going to lower that resolution properly. Now, most people would do quarter resolution, half resolution, or one second, one fourth, one eighth. In Premiere, we're actually going to go to DCI 4K. We're going to lower it. This is the proper way to do it. And I'm going to actually do it one better. We're actually going to add a LUT to it. Let's add a LUT. Let's tweak it just a little bit. Again, we're still working with the AK RAW. We're just lowering the timeline resolution to 4K. Let's tweak it just a little bit more. And now, look, it's already performing better. Now we're gonna play it back. And look at that beautiful, and any of you see in the top left, you see 24, no drop frames. CPU and GPU are both running perfectly fine. Memory, please be note, I have 64 gigs of RAM. When I was doing this with 16 gigs, I was struggling. I would recommend at least 32. It's going to make the experience much better. Look, it's perfectly playing in this. No drop frames. And I'm going to add LUTs to these other videos as well. Let's make it a little bit more intense. And again, I recommend at least 32 gigs. 16 gigs was really struggling. I couldn't scrub. I couldn't really do much, even in the 4K. So I, I recommend, it's not more, most of us have a pretty good CPU these days. I'd say it's more so the memory. That's what, that's the key thing here with the AK RAW. Look at this beautiful playback, no drop frames. You can see it again, 24, no problem. We're only using 25% of our memory. Unbelievable. Ugh. If you're not shooting raw, the whole point of this camera, in my opinion, is AK raw. You have to take advantage of this. And hopefully this will help you out in shooting that raw. Now, don't get me wrong. The camera does shoot proxy. So if you do have a very lower end spec computer, I would advise shooting the proxies to the SD card. I think that's a beautiful feature that nobody's really talking about. I mean, look at me. I'm scrubbing like it's nothing. It does start to struggle a little bit. When you focus on one of the clips, it, it's perfectly fine. Totally manageable. And then when you're ready to export, you just change the resolution back to 8K and then you export as desired. All right, now we are in Premiere, latest version of Premiere Pro, by the way. Um, I think it's July 2020 something. And then we have the 10-bit 422 H.265 files imported from various different creators i'll again link those below if you want to download those files credits of course have been given and um the h265 files, h265 has always been known to be really too intense even when i got my mavic two years ago i hated the h265 they're just horrible to edit with we're going to play it back here in premiere pro again we are at 4k dci not ak dci 4k dci timeline we're on full quality and it's looking like it's playing back pretty good. I don't know how you enabled the frame counter, but trust me, it, it's, it's nailing it. 100% CPU, notice the difference. We were playing back the AK RAW. I wasn't even, we was at what, 25, 28%? It's floating around 80 to 90% now. Less GPU power though. Same amount of memory. And this is, I believe, 4K 120. 10 bit, 422, ACE265. It's playing back pretty good. Again, 4K DCI timeline. I want to make that very, very clear. 
That is very important. You do not have to tick the one half, one quarter, whatever, one two, one four, one eighth. You don't have to do that. Okay, now we're gonna try to scrub. Scrubbing is not as good as the raw, but it's pretty damn, actually pretty good. Not bad, it's tolerable. Very tolerable. Struggling a little bit there. So again, these files are definitely not as good in terms of editing, like the AK files were. It's just, this is a bad codec. H.265 is a bad codec, I'm not a fan. But this is tolerable, this is editable. So hopefully this solves the dilemma. Um, I haven't tried the AK Raw in Premiere, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a very similar experience. Again, just drop it to 4K DCI, and then when you're ready to export, just switch it back to AK, hit export, and you will be good to go. No need for proxies, especially if you have a decent machine like I do. If you have a lower end machine, it's quite simple. Just use the internal in-camera proxies that it will record to the SD card. All right, so there's that. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, I think this is very, very manageable. Totally, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't buy all this negativity about the R5. It's a very powerful camera and a very small package. Like, what do you expect? Just magic? There's going to be some limitations. I even said that when it first got rumored. Like, yo, there's, there's going to be a catch. This is too good to be true. And the overheating issue should have been more obvious to everybody, but uh, including myself. But it is just manageable. And as far as the recording problems, the heating issues, we'll get into that in another video because I also have a solution for that as well. There's a lot of like mixed information going around. So until I get the camera, I won't know. But uh, hopefully this solves your issue or head scratcher on, damn, can I edit? C can I edit comfortably? And yes, you can. So feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm new here trying to just give out something different and hopefully it works. And yeah, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.